Tottenham's Greatest North London Derby Moments, Ranked. Tottenham vs Arsenal is one of the biggest derbies in world football. The games always deliver entertainment for the neutral, while they're usually extremely stressful occasions for fans of either club. While Spurs have often had to watch on while their North London rivals collect titles, the landscape has become more even in recent years with the Lillywhites scoring more regular victories over the Gunners. Here are some of Tottenham's most iconic moments against Arsenal, ranked. This was a real ding-dong of a game at White Hart Lane that ultimately ended 5-4 to the visitors, but not before Jermaine Defoe stunned everyone in the ground with an extraordinary goal. The former England international burst through a number of challenges before curling an inch-perfect effort into the top corner. One of his greatest ever goals. With this North London derby locked at 1-1 following goals from Raphael van der Vaart and Aaron Ramsey, up stepped Kyle Walker. The right back fizzed a shot back into the danger zone and the ball rasped through Gunners goalkeeper Wojciech Szczesny's hands to give Spurs all three points. With Spurs 2-1 down in this 2007 encounter, a moment of magic was needed from someone to earn them a share of the spoils. Jermaine Jean has turned out to be that someone dot standing outside the box, the midfielder arrowed a low shot into the corner to rescue a point for his side. How Tottenham didn't win this game remains a mystery, but it did at least give Spurs fans another iconic memory of Harry Kane in the North London Derby. The Lillywhites had just equalised through Toby Alderweireld after Francis Coquelin was sent off, and this curling strike from a ridiculous angle resulted in Bedlam in the home stands. During the height of coronavirus enforced lockdowns in the United Kingdom, Spurs fans had to watch on from home as Sun Hyung Min and Harry Kane combined brilliantly during the 2020 21 season. I end this game, however, a few fans were allowed in, and the South Korean gave them a strike to remember, cutting inside and whipping a tremendous strike into the far corner. While they've secured victories over Arsenal, Tottenham have rarely got that emphatic win they might have liked. But in this League Cup semi-final second leg, that big result came dot with the tie locked at 1-1 after the first leg, Spurs ran riot to win 5-1 on the night, securing a spot in the final thanks to Jermaine Gina's, Nicholas Bentner's own goal, Robbie Keane, Aaron Lennon and Steed Malbrank. They went on to beat Chelsea in the final too. David Bentley is one of the few players to have played for both Tottenham and Arsenal. Thankfully for Spurs fans, he saved his most astonishing strike for them. From around 40 yards out, the winger caught Manuel Almunia napping with a swerving shot that the Spaniard could only get a flailing hand to. What's one way to endear yourself to an entire fan base for the entirety of your career? Scoring an absolute screamer on your league debut against your fierce rivals is a pretty good one. That's what Danny Rose did. The young left back leathered a volley through the crowded box and passed Wojciech Sesny. The celebration was pretty special. Tottenham don't win very often at the Emirates Stadium. While in recent years they have often finished higher than Arsenal, they just haven't been able to win away from home. It was Jouns Cabell who gave Spurs their first win at the Emirates, flicking in a header to complete a remarkable turnaround after his side fell 2 0 behind, ultimately winning 3 2. Harry Kane still has his doubters, but during the early stages of his career, many were still trying to work out whether or not he was the real deal. To Tottenham fans, after this game, the question had been answered. I in his first North London Derby, Kane first equalised by slamming in from a corner and then rose highest to direct a superb header into the far corner. True Roy of the Rovers stuff. Around a year after the height of Gazamania, Paul Gascoigne became a legend in North London when he belted a free kick into the top corner from a free kick in an FA Cup semi final win over Arsenal. It ended up being his final goal for Tottenham as he suffered a nasty injury in the final. Spurs ended up winning the competition, so he more